635, that is your rush block. Now we want to get back to our talker, an Ohio teenager calling the cops on her dad because he took her phone, a phone that she says he didn't buy and that he stole it. Well, the officers responded and used the incident as a teaching moment. Mother, property, oh. and I don't live here. But guess what? Everything that you own belongs to your, your mother and your father. Having a phone is not a right. It's a trip, okay? I feel like that line we could all use in our homes, parents. It's not a right, it's a privilege. Those officers standing by dad. So many of you are talking about this one online. Liza Lucas is at the bridge tracking your reactions. Yeah, the whole interaction captured on body cam and shared across social media. It's been all over our Facebook pages. And dad said he took away the phone when he realized he couldn't inspect it because it was locked. And police, they stood by him all the way. And they actually used this as a teaching moment, as you mentioned, Sheba, as saying when you should and should not call 911 as well. That 16 year old daughter pushing back, saying she lives at grandma's house and she should be able to keep the phone. And this has turned into a whole conversation about whether minors should have property rights. So we're going to get to some of those comments in the minute. But this person says, What rights? Stop trying to give kids all the power. And another one coming from Monica, our morning rush viewer, saying, This teen needs to go back to the 1970s when parents did not play any games. This teen's behavior shows entitlement, she says. Other people, saying this could be a lawsuit. Could it be pursued in court? The police didn't think so at the time. We'll turn it over to you guys on this one. A lawsuit, a lawsuit yeah. <laughs> on, well. Go ahead, knock yourself out on this one. You know where I stand. I'm with dad. It's nothing. What kind of rights does she have? None. All right then. What, Absolutely what, what, what none. Hey, whether, whether the father paid for it or not, she was in his custody at the time. Apparently, this girl lives with her grandmother. Look, this is a hard decision that a parent has to make to take the phone away because it's a punishment for you as well when you can't access your kid and even track their location. I had to do this myself last night, and it pains me. My daughter's waking up this morning with no phone, with no phone. And you know, they have backup phones, too. You think one <laughs> phone's not working, and they're in their room on the other oh, phone. Gosh. Um, Being all sneaky. So she lives with the grandmother, huh? And, and the dad came in and took it. Well, know. she was with the dad at the time. Ah. She was with the dad at the time. I don't, yeah. What's his title again? Ah. What's his title? She, she lives with the grandma. I what, don't know. What's I, his title? Dad. Yes. Give me the phone. It takes a village. Uh, it's not I just because you live with grandma. Oh. Only one person can discipline. She, she paid, paid for it. Uh, Where'd she get the money from? She probably worked hard oh, for okay. it. Oh, oh, she worked did hard for it. Did she definitely pay for yeah. it? Because she yeah. said he didn't pay for it. So right. who did pay for that phone? So maybe that person should be taking away the phone. Right. Right. Maybe she used the money mm, that dad no. gave her to buy the phone. And in her mind, that means he didn't pay for it. Invasion of privacy. No. Invasion of privacy, you know? I mean, what's he what's he doing looking in that phone, you know? That's her own business right there. Mm -hmm. she business? Paid for you it? don't have business yeah. right. in your teens. When you get your grown, business is my business in your teens. When you pay for your own place and space, do what you want to do. Yeah. Till then, give me that. I think mom exactly. and dad are bad. Exactly. <laughs> I can't. I feel so bad this morning. Can I just say? Why? And I have to figure out how long I'm going to keep this phone away from her too. But it is a punishment. I ha it is a punishment for me. Let, let the punishment. Fit and the you crime. know what? You know what it was? I had to go. I had to go find an old school phone oh, last night, and plug it into the modem. Oh, so she. Could and then I had to make sure she could work the old school alarm clock. What wow. is that? Okay. You gonna take the phone? Take the phone. That, that you're play, you're too. providing. Uh, oh no! I took it. I took it. But you plugged in an old school phone just so she could have an old school phone. An alarm? No, because oh, for the alarm to work. In, in case oh, of an right. emergency, you can't. Okay, like, what, what did you have back in the day? What did I have back in the day? Yeah. We had we had you a didn't landline. You have a cell phone? No, but we had a landline. So you, you you're worried about an emergency happening? Yes, exactly. Okay. You can't. Yes. Then give me a backup phone. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> then give it back a phone. You know, you uh, 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 to the no. <laughs> what, what do you say? Uh, to the no. No, it's not oh happening. My God. I want to know the crime. What did she do? I, just, uh, I mean, that is. Sometimes we just be having uh, interventions. Kids are on sneaky. This That's what it is. Well, I'm sneaky.